Hello to all of the employee members of the Opolis Commons. Good morning. As veteran members may know, the Commons Benefit Plan renews on June 1st of each year. We're going to be taking some steps to change this renewal schedule, which we'll get to in a moment. But for now, we are once again running open enrollment and all changes will be taking effect on June 1st. Starting on Tuesday, May 3rd, you'll have to log into your Commons dashboard to complete the open enrollment process. Everyone who wants to keep their insurance or add new benefits needs to complete the entire open enrollment process. This includes folks wanting to keep the same plans. The deadline to complete open enrollment is Sunday, May 15th, and we will be sending out reminder emails as we get closer to that date. So what can you do during open enrollment? Well, pretty much anything regarding healthcare. You can change plan types, drop or add dependents, and add or drop non-medical coverage like dental and vision. Per regulations, this is the only time you are able to make such changes without a qualifying life event. If you would like to learn more about this, you can find examples of qualifying life events in our benefits guide. Of course, one of the headline benefits of Opolis is access to medical coverage. Here we're keeping the same popular provider network and the four major plan types. We have had very strong growth in Commons membership in the last year, and that increase in growth has led to increased purchasing power. Of course, medical plans do get more expensive every year, but that purchasing power has helped us offset those cost increases. We've also been able to make some tweaks to our plan deductibles. There are small changes to in-network uh, deductibles and rather larger changes to out-of-network deductibles. And this has helped us keep our rates competitive. Just be sure to always check your provider network for in-network providers at alliedbenefit.com. Dental network, all good news here, I'm happy to say. We are tripling our maximum benefit we have a substantially larger dental network coming into the new year, and our orthodontia benefit has also tripled. The other exciting news here is we have upgraded from child only to family coverage. So adult teeth straightening options are now a choice that's available to you. Vision, also all good news here. We have again upgraded to a larger, more comprehensive network. We've increased the frame allowance. We've increase the contacts allowance, and other than the improvements, it's the same high quality vision plan you come to know and love. More on that in the benefits guide. Disability and life insurance. All Commons members are enrolled in short-term disability, long-term disability, and life insurance. We have been able to double the weekly benefit for short-term disability and eliminate the pre-existing condition limitation. On long-term disability, we've been able to increase the maximum duration of payout from five years to all the way until retirement age. We think this is a big win for the independence and sustainability of the self-sovereign worker. Very excited about this. All Commons employee members also continue to be enrolled in life insurance. In addition, we've been able to get kind of a goodie bag of extra perks that are available to all Commons members, just as part of being in the cooperative. There's an employee assistance plan, which offers free counseling sessions with professionals. More on that in the benefits guide. And quite a few other things. Just a few highlights here. Laser vision correction, hearing aid discounts, identity theft, help with wills and legal documents. Once again, more in the benefits guide. As mentioned earlier, this will be the last time that we are having a mid-year open enrollment. The Board of Stewards for the Employment Commons has voted to change so that we will align the open enrollment with the calendar year. The main reason for this is to prevent confusion for existing members and folks who are looking to join. A mid-year open enrollment is pretty uncommon and is unexpected for some. In addition, per ACA regulations, all expenses that have counted towards deductibles reset to zero each January 1st. So being able to make plan changes when deductibles reset just makes more sense. In addition, HSA amounts always change each year for the new tax year, again on January 1st, 
And lastly, January is when most people expect to be making changes to healthcare and have experienced that with other companies and exchanges. So on that note, look for a new open enrollment in Q4 this year to select 2023 benefits starting on January 1st. So in conclusion, to wrap it all up, the open enrollment period is Tuesday, May 3rd to Sunday, May 15th. All Commons members will continue to receive disability, life, and the employee assistance package and other perks. All members who wish to receive dental, vision, or medical insurance after May 31st must complete the open enrollment, regardless of your current benefit elections. Thank you everybody for your time, and let's get back to biddling the future of work together.